In this video, we're looking at some video games that I sold recently on eBay, as well as some items I'd like to get listed on eBay. Hey guys, welcome back to Common Lab, where you're joining me on my journey to make a million dollars. We're back here with another video. We got a couple items that have sold in the last couple days, so I want to go ahead and pull those. I'm at the two-day uh, shipping and handling time, so they had to get out today. So let's go ahead and get those all pulled and packaged, as well as uh, we have some items that uh, I've been doing my work, actually. I've been keeping up. I've been doing some listings off camera here, so I want to take you through what I've listed, as well as take you through a couple items that I'm currently working on right now, and maybe even find a couple that we're going to get listed today. So those are sort of the plans. Pretty simple. So let's jump right into it. Okay, we got seven items on the video game account that sold, so I'm gonna pull those and I'll check the other accounts for any other sales, but I believe that's it. All right, let's talk about what was sold here. First of all, we got Disney cars going out. We sold that one for $5.99. These are all Canadian prices, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that before in case you're watching from another country. Uh, these are all in Canadian dollars, though. Uh, anyway, we got the Star Wars game right here. This is going out for uh, $4.50. Then we got this game party disc, which is loose, uh, which is only going out for buck seventy-five. but uh, I'm hoping maybe we can make a little bit of shipping there because that's not very much. Then following that, this is the last Wii Sports game from that lot that we bought on the channel a little while ago. Um, this one we got $6.99 for, a little bit less than I think it took an offer on it, but I will take it to get rid of it, and uh, we're good. We still got a lot of stuff from that lot which we can sell for some good money. Star Wars Battlefront here, we just listed this one the other day as well, and we picked this one up, I, I believe the Value Village, and this was one that I said would move quickly. Um, we got $7.99 for it, and sure enough, it did move quickly. Now mind you, we're probably gonna, only going to make about a buck on that after fees and everything, but you know what, it was a quick mover, I don't know, it probably took a minute to list if that, so um, there we go. And then we also got Red Faction up here, which we managed to get $3.49 on. Um, again, not the best uh, price in the world, but anyway, uh, we'll take it. Took an offer on that one as well, in case you were wondering. Then right down here, actually, this was a stack that I just listed uh, last night, I believe, or earlier today. I think it was last night. This was all last night. Um, this is Sega GT uh, 2002 uh, and JSRF. Uh, it's like a combo game. Just sold this one already for $6.99 within 24 hours of having it listed. So there we go. That's everything we actually sold over the last couple days. Now let's go ahead and see what we want to get listed today. Real quick, actually, over at the Momentum board, I'm trying to think of what these two items for 16 were. I'm not sure. Maybe we put up two games? I, that may have been on camera, I'm not sure. Uh, the eight items though here were the Xbox games I just showed you on the table. This one right here I kind of showed on TikTok a little bit. This was a DS that I had purchased um, a while back. I found it actually, just sitting in a bin somewhere. So uh, uh, I listed that, it's an inbox complete, it worked great, and uh, I listed that for $45. This is today, so we'll see if we can get this number up a little bit higher, but I decided to add that on there. I don't have much planned yet to list today. I got this game, which already has some pictures, so we'll get that up. I'm not sure how much it's worth. Namco, really fun game, but uh, not sure how much it'll be worth. I tested it though in the DS, so I figured I'll list it. In addition to that, I photographed uh, this remote right here, this Toshiba one that we purchased, um, and so that's good to go as well. Paid $1.99, I left that on there so I wouldn't forget. Um, anyway, we got those two items uh, ready to go. I'll show you the DS actually real quick because I just realized it's right in here. Already all packed up. I know I'm clever. I don't know if I'm going to pack it like that actually, but there it is. It's just in the box. It's that system right there, and it's complete and everything. I had to throw in some pens actually. Um, I bought way back a couple hundred pens for the DS, so I figured that was a good investment, and sure enough it was because whenever I have a DS, that comes in now, I can go ahead and give it a pen. Now the JFJ, we talked about this a couple uh, videos ago. I'm very excited to say that it showed up on Amazon again, thank goodness, because I tried to order off their site and it came up with like a $70 shipping fee, um, which I was not very excited about. So ultimately it would have been probably around $200, around the same amount, but I'm not sure if that was American or Canadian. I think it was American actually. So I found one that popped up on Amazon for $200, so I'm uh, yet to put the order through, but I do have that one and I'm going to be putting that through hopefully uh, within, I don't know, I guess tonight or or tomorrow. I'm gonna put it through at some point, um, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So whenever I get around or whenever I get a chance, I'm gonna go ahead and put that order through. We'll be ready, we'll be, or be ready. Whoa, I'm talking too fast. Uh, to test all this stuff, this is the rest of the discs from that lot that we purchased on eBay, as well as I think some of these games, I'm not sure. But uh, this is going to be a lot of money. We haven't even touched the money items yet. We've really just been selling off um, items to pay back for the lot so far, but this is where all the profits can be in this little stack right here if we can get them working. Looked it up and it does work with GameCube games as well, so that's gonna be quite handy because we do have a couple of those in stock. Why am I talking about all this again? Because uh, we are kind of running low on things to list. I mean, we've got these couple items right here. Let's go over to the uh, receiving shelf. Is there anything there that we can list? So this would probably be a good thing to put up tonight. Why don't we go and go ahead and start on this. I'll pull it out. Uh, this box should do. I'm just going to have to put in some custom folds or whatever and get a piece of cardboard in there. But this box will fit it really well and that will be an easy one to send out. Um, in addition, we have these Bell 5 remotes. They could definitely go up today as well if we get around to them. 
I don't really feel like dealing with the tablet today, so I'm gonna leave it, nor do I feel like testing this uh, Apple system, whatever it is. Uh, and I don't feel like playing around with this again. We could try to play around with the disc one, the DVD one, but I just took my TV down, so I don't really want to start with those again. Uh, so why don't we put our priority on things that I already showed you a couple seconds ago, and, uh, and these two remotes as well as the sport rack. And we'll start with that and see where that gets us. There might be a couple other things on the table there that we could list. Yeah, just a couple other random items, including this Pokemon game and stuff from that lot. There's a couple valuable things in there maybe we could get up as well. Anyway, I'm gonna start by getting these two items up for sale. All right, so just went ahead and listed these two items. I listed the Namco Museum for, I believe, $4.99, and then uh, this remote for, I think it was $7.99. Uh, they were going for about $9.99, but I wanted to undercut, so then uh, whenever somebody wanted to buy them, I'd be the lowest offer. Hopefully that's the case, we can sell it quickly. Um, but let's go ahead now and move on to those Bell Fiber remotes. Yeah, not sure if these are worth anything at all, but I think I'm just going to maybe look them up quickly, make sure they are worth at least, you know, $10 or five, 10 bucks, uh, and then put them up. Uh, we'll test them though first, so I have a Bell 5 unit luckily down here, so I'm gonna go ahead and give those a test. And let's get this guy out, get some pictures of it, and those will be the uh, the two other items that we will do for today. All right, so just finished up here uh, with taking the pictures of the sport rackets on the floor, had it all laid out and got some good pictures, I think. Um, as well as the Bell Fiber remotes, they both tested and worked, so we're good to go ahead and start listing these items. All right, so got everything that I wanted to get listed up today. Uh, these Bell Fiber remotes actually got a pretty good deal going on them, I think. Uh, I put them both up for $24.99 as a lot of two. Uh, the reason I did that is because I saw them going alone for about $15 to $20, but even so, $24.99 I think will be a good steal on these two. They are slightly different models, uh, so hopefully that won't be a problem. However, I'm thinking that somebody will buy those pretty quick, because that's a, a decent deal. I did test them, they work great, so uh, that's good there. In addition to that, we have this guy right in here, the Sport Rack listed for uh, $30, $29.99. I'll throw pictures of it up on the screen. Uh, but anyway, I'm thinking that's going to be a uh, uh, it's going to be a tough sell at that price, to be honest. I thought these things were worth a lot more, about 50 to 100 bucks, but I saw this exact same model, brand new, going for 30. That one was pretty far away, so I'm hoping that maybe I can appeal, you know, get some better shipping prices for a customer nearby who maybe wants one for 30, but I'll take an offer on of 25. We spent 12 or 13 on it, so uh, it might be something that we had to sell locally eventually if we can't get the sale on eBay. But I tried it out, and we'll see if uh, we can get the sale. Here we are at the momentum board. Let's get rid of that 45 because this total has now gone up to 113, which is pretty good overall. I think that's our top day in November so far. Uh, oh, yeah, we had 100 bucks there. That's pretty good. And the total items goes up to, I have to do some math for that. I believe it was just five items. So that's pretty sweet overall. All right, so that almost brings an end to today's video. We got some really good listings done. I'm very happy with the progress we're making. It's just a matter now if we can keep this kind of progress up for every day. I think our goal should be to put up at least $100 worth of items every single day from now on on the momentum board. That's a rather ambitious goal for me, uh, just because I don't have a lot of time, generally speaking. But I think it's you know it's got to be a minimum to uh, to reach at least $100 in listings every day. I don't think it should be as hard as I think as we start to get into some more higher value stuff. And we do have to do some more sourcing though because we are running out of stuff on the shelves to get listed. One more thing I want to talk about though is I have the opportunity to buy a whole bunch of new sealed PlayStation 2 games, but they're all the exact same game. For example, I think there's a couple that are like an MLB game, uh, there's a couple lots that are like a uh, like siphon filter, games like that. These games, uh, there's 120 of them, all the exact same title, all new and sealed. It'd be one listing on eBay, really simple, and I get them for $1.65 a piece. In some cases these are worth eight to ten dollars and that sort of range each so from a buck sixty five to eight to ten that's a pretty simple flip it's just a matter of if I can actually sell them I've looked up the price charts on a lot of these games I might go into more depth in this in the next video however um, the price charts are pretty good they sell uh, in some of them once a week some of them are a little bit worse like once a month some of them are so bad as it's like a few times a year so I'm definitely not going to touch those ones but there are a few here that I'm maybe considering buying a lot of the same game is that really stupid though I mean one listing one payment for the lot, one transaction really, I mean I'll have to do it about 120 times for each one of the sales, but I don't know, I don't think that would be impossible and it might be a good money maker, and then worst case I split them up into like packs of 10 and sell them to all the local video game stores, I don't know. Just a thought though, I don't really want to do it, but I have a feeling that it could make me some money, which means that I kind of want to do it. And it's not hard work at all, it's the, in fact the easiest thing I could possibly do to make a quick buck, even if we sold them over 5 bucks a piece. I'm just a little worried as to whether or not I can sell 120 copies of the exact same game. 
Anyway, I'm gonna look into that some more. I'll let you know, give you an update on it in the next couple of videos and to see if we wanna make that transaction happen or if there's some more profitable things or other things that would be more interesting to, uh, to do. Um, as well as that, I've got my domain figured out for the Shopify page, which means that I am live now, actually. I'm not gonna say the domain yet because I'm not sure that I'm completely satisfied with it yet, but, uh, but it is set up and ready to go, so I might be uh, having some Shopify videos coming to the channel soon. With that all being said, I'm not going to rant any longer. Pretty happy with the progress we got done in this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate it. it really helps me out. Leave a like on the video, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.